Let's talk Tanya for the 26th of Tishrei. Yesterday's Tanya, Dr. Rebbe explained that anger is tantamount to idolatry. And he explained the reason for this, because idolatry is the notion that there is something other than God that has control over me, over my life, over anything. And anger is a moment when a person loses that belief, because if a person were to believe that, then they wouldn't get angry. Obviously, everything is being controlled by Hashem, and Hashem is good. And then Dr. Rebbe continues and says, it's more than just that Hashem is controlling or predetermining everything that happens, but Hashem is actually creating at every single moment the circumstances. And with this, Dr. Rebbe analyzes an interesting story, an interesting phrase from the Nach. We know David Amel, King David, one of the greatest catastrophes that befell him was the revolution that was orchestrated against him by his own son, by Avshalom. And for a while, the revolution gained momentum. David the Malach actually had to, uh, had to flee, had to escape Yerushalayim. And as he's running away with his entourage, um, they encounter someone whose name was Shimi, Shimi ben Gera. And this Shimi ben Gera started pelting David and his entourage with stones, and he started cursing at him. Now, one of David's lieutenants, his name was Avishai, he told David, he says, why should we allow that dead dog to curse the king? Let me go and remove his head. To which David responded and says, why would you do that? Hashem Omar Lei Khalil. After all, it was God who told him to curse. And the obvious question is, what does that mean? What does it mean that God told him to curse? God told Shimi to curse King David? So the Alter Rebbe says, the deeper meaning of this is that we know this is something that we've learned earlier on in Tanya, in Shari Yichud Vahamunah, that everything that's created was created through the utterances, God's words, the ten utterances. And that's not, that's not only something that happened 5,780-something years ago, but at every single moment the world is being recreated. It's the doctrine of perpetual creation. And the Alter Rebbe gives the example, he gave it earlier on in Tanya, he gives it over here again. The example of the splitting of the Red Sea, that we know that the Red Sea was split, um, there was a very powerful easterly wind that came, and divided the water. Dr. Rebbe says, imagine if for one moment that wind would have stopped blowing. What would have happened? Obviously, the water would have collapsed back into its uh, regular, normal, flowing position. And the same thing is with the creation of the world. Yes, there is that wind, which in our instance are the words of God, the ten utterances, which is constantly forcing all of world, the all of the world into all of creation into existence, from nothing into something. And if for one moment that power would, be, would, would, would stop, that energy would stop flowing, all the world would revert into nothingness. So at every moment, God is recreating the world using his words, the words of the ten utterances. And when Shimi cursed David HaMelech, so ultimately it was God telling him or God speaking him into existence at that moment. In fact, that very idea that came into his head to curse King David come, came from Hashem, because Hashem gives the power, the energy, and everything that comes, including ideas, everything comes from Hashem. And although he had the free choice to disregard it, at the end of the day, what David HaMelech is saying is, this is all orchestrated by Hashem. If Hashem didn't want this to happen, it couldn't have happened, because Hashem is speaking Shimi into existence at this very moment. And at this moment also, that idea that came to Shimi's head to curse me is also a product of Hashem speaking. So what is there to get angry about? In tomorrow's Tanya, we're going to continue this conversation and we're going to take a deeper dive into the concept of God's words that vivify creation at every single moment.